You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh boy! We're talking about series and we're talking about the usual suspects. Where should we start? Oh, maybe on up over here, the partial sum. All right. What does that say? That says that these should match. None. Um, yeah. The this. N needs to match this and find. All right, what is that? That's the sum of the first n terms of a series. You probably got here because of the introduction to series. This is the series video and the usual suspects. In my private collection, you can see me work this example. That's the sum of the first nine terms of three to the k. You can see me work this example. That's the sum of the not first nine terms from k to 12. That one we'll also discuss re-indexing so that we could look at these partial sums of these geometrics. Both of these are geometric. What are geometric? Geometric is when it's of this form. What is that? It's repeated multiplication from term to term. There should be an R to the N right there. Okay, well what? Those are all gonna add up to this. Now what? Sometimes these, sometimes these series, series in general, summations, they sometimes add up to stuff. How can you tell when? Well, here's how. Here is the definition of convergence of a series. Yes, we need to look at the underlying partial sums. Those are those. If you add up the n terms of them, that's going to be a partial sum. Now, if you add up forever n terms, that's the limits of the partial sums. If the partial sums actually go to L, then that series converges. Yeah. So if we look at the limit of the partial sums and that goes to L, then the series, hey, 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 then the series also goes to L. All right, that's how we get to that. If we look at this, the partial sums of that geometric, it goes to this, because this derivation is also in the private collection. All right, but if our R is a fraction, a proper fraction, then that fraction raised to a power is gonna go to zero and the geometric's gonna sum to this. So we have this, the sum, infinite sum of a geometric series is gonna add to be that ratio. Oh boy. Yeah, all right, so in the private collection, yeah, you're gonna find um, all of these examples and this is just a minimum. At the end of this, there's gonna be a playlist and it's gonna include all of these and probably more because as I add them over the last six years or so I've been doing videos in class and putting them in the private collection now I get to release my private look at that so what this first one that's gonna discuss re-indexing I know you're gonna like that um, this one here is gonna create some manipulation until you get to a geometric all of these are examples of the geometric we're talking about the usual suspects we'll get into other ones as well so all right here, um, that is gonna use your summation properties and then a couple of geometrics after that. Oh, we go even further. What if I give you loose terms? Oh, those terms are so loose. Find the summation, one tight package. Oh, oh, bless it, bless it. How's that go? Boom, sorry, wrong platform. Hey, what are you doing if you're dancing on a platform? Oh boy, so wait, what if we're looking for Forever 21? We're trying to find the fraction. We can find that fraction with that geometric action and oh, that one even non-trivial oh boy but are those all the ones are those all the ones hey 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 sometimes they don't add up to anything follow me follow me follow me follow me sometimes they don't add up to anything and one of the ways you can tell whether or not a series doesn't work all the time but um, whether or not a series adds up to something is the divergence test divergence means it doesn't add up Oh, wait, is it ants or ants? Ants or ants? I'm not sure. Let's get down to this nitty gritty. Well, if we look at this series here, see? That series is divergent if the sequence doesn't go to zero. Now, if your series is gonna add up to something, you need to eventually be adding zero, and that's what this says. It does not go both ways, people. This is only a one-way test. It only tests for divergence. You will never use the divergence test to show that something converges. You will never use the divergence test to show a series converges. Ever. 
Okay, so down here, these are three examples. Some of them not even, hey, hey, okay, you're fine, you pay attention. Here's three examples of using the divergence test and that's all in the private collection at the end of this. That one, garden variety. This one, not so garden. And that one, woo, that's a forest. So over here, hmm, hey, hey, hey. Hey! 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 Whatever, come on, right here, boom. Are those the only ones in the entire world? No, there's lots more. And here's another one of the usual suspects, the telescoping series. These three are in the private collection. Oh God, oh God! Oh, you're back. Okay, fine. Okay, all right. So um, I wrote this one out a little bit, just a few, few terms. When K is one, you get this, what? That's three minus four. Three fourths? Oh, no. One third minus one fourth. Okay. And then when K is two, because you're indexing them, summations. And then when K is three, but what do you see? These, boom, pow, 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 pow. They all just start killing, them off, killing it off. Now, these examples, they are going to go through lots of things. But this is the video on the usual suspects of series. Now, I don't never know. I've always wondered why they, um, like call it telescoping, I guess maybe it's because it just collapses on itself. Now this one's gonna take some rewriting. I know, logarithm properties before it becomes telescoping, but you'll see that there. This one needs some factorization and some partial fractions, and then it becomes telescoping, and it's not always gonna be the first term. It changes from... <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs>